you came into my health center, you got like holistic tea. You could get some rock cacao, like a la David Wolf. <laughs> you know, I had a library, I had amethyst crystal biomats from the amethyst crystal um, biomat store, each store. And so I got into all of this. And then I got into spring water and it, it was all about the water. And you know, I started going to spring water. You start thinking differently. You get your mercury fillings out. You start using essential oils. You start being cognizant of the consciousness that you put into your system. So then I went, well, this is cool. So now I'm now I'm going to a massage. I'm doing Vitaflux reflexology. I'm learning iridology. Then I got into live blood cell. I'm doing dark field analysis. I was like, this is so cool. So then I was approached by a lot of people to set up the first quantum holistic medical center. So as a, you know, not an alternative, but that's what actually quantum medicine is. And it was shamanic. It was tribal. It was original clan. It went before the pyramids. But it's, you know, out there, not just forging, but we have all the the top technology intergalactically, cosmically available to us. And that's when I got into biofeedback. So I started with some really old tech machines that you're still seeing around today. Um, Skeel or Indigo is what they're called. Um, I know a lot of people are putting out these scalar devices that look like, you know, TVs that look like you're going to have a seizure. But, you know, we've evolved since then and flip phones. So then I got involved with Dr. Ariel Policano and Ryan Williams. Well, that brought biofeedback to a whole new genre because we could now take your phone and you've seen Star Trek, right? SG-1. Okay, now now it's exciting to me because now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, so now we could take your phone here and we could actually use it like Bones did as a scanner, a communication device, holographic. And your phones and your iPads now all operate on the scalar wave. So you don't have to spend thirty, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars, guys. No, 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 no. You are the scalar wave. They're tapping into your energy. So as long as your alignment is in and you're alkalized and you're cleaned out or detox or clans have cleanses the days, whatever, you are the wave. And that's what it does. It allows you to throw your energy. So this can be very, very handy. And so that's what we did. We ended up putting these little things on. And as funny as it is, I've been in biofeedback, but I don't program. You guys are much more techie than I am, let me tell you. But I went and got that put on there, the genius biofeedback. So we actually have a rife one. We've got, you know, where you can just get a rife for a couple hundred. You can just get an odyssey for a couple hundred, these apps at geniusbiofeedback.com. You can have a free demo with us for an hour. So, you know, you could figure out what mineral, what kind of mood you're in, what your aura looks like. And more importantly, we can change your aura. So if people are upset, depressed, you know, this type of thing could go on. As I started learning more and more, I got more and more fascinated by this type of stuff. And I was like, wow, this goes all through you. And this is the waves I'll just show you. Wow. So those waves in here make a big, big difference. They penetrate. And this is what we're meaning is everything is about radiation. So we can actually do the water, not just through fractals. That's just one you can get on your phone or app or iPad. Same thing. We can look at all of it. And this is where technology is going into. And so this is where I went and I went, oh, my gosh, we are moving. So then I'm going to talk a little bit about strange things like colonics, Kalima boards. We're going to and you're going to see here, you know, um, this is actually my curriculum vitae, by the way. So I do a lot with trauma, release, womb recovery, sexual abuse, ritual abuse, um, steams. Excellent. Peri steam hydrotherapy is a new thing, you know, to most people or yoni and warm pearls. So I do all these like really cool things that most people have never heard about. <laughs> and so it was funny because you saw me on a TikTok, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, just some mm -hmm. screenshot of a screen record of a second hand something or another, and no name, no nothing on it. And so I was just like, I got to find you. Yeah. And weird found you. And weird. You said <laughs> yeah. you're on TikTok. I went, no, I'm sure I haven't done a TikTok, but they <laughs> mirrored it, right? So they cut out three minutes. I found, thank gosh, you sent it to me. So I knew what we were talking about today. But um, on there, what they've done, and you'll see people taking a lot of our clips. And that was something I did with Miles Johnson from the Basis Project. And this is where the basis is. A lot of people, they're into esoteric type of things and what's going on with the secret space programs and all these type of things in the new 17th Space Force, you know, in there. You'll see that a lot of us were actually talking about this a long time ago. So I got to meet people like Max Spires and these super soldiers. And I'm going to be on a show actually on newsinsideout.com with James Rink 
from yeah. Super Soldier Talk, talking about Nasera on Sunday with Judge Alfred Weber. So he's got lots of books out to do with time traveling, Corona Visors. And they actually time traveled his book on exopolitics 20 years back to him. I, I have thought of this is uh, time traveling information like that, like a book from yeah. the future. And, you know, seeing its published date and everything and then, uh, you know, transferring it back for that wisdom and knowledge to be here. But also with the scalar stuff that you're talking about, you know, we yeah. you are the wave. And that's something I definitely want to ask you about. But this yeah. idea that you can transfer information via these electronics like this, you know, the sure. we call these, you know, the computer screens, your phone, all that stuff, the Black Mirror. Right. And there's that amazing show, the Black Mirrors, and it's it's horrible and dystopian. But, you know, there's a flip side to all of that stuff. And that's what I love about your work is you empower people with this information uh, to for go sure. ahead and, and be themselves and to be the best, greatest, grandest version of the themselves. So when you said we, you are the wave at that point, whenever you write it, right? So what's yeah. interesting is, is if, if information is being sent that way, this, then the same is true, right? Positive energy, positive information, higher vibrations, higher consciousness, all of those things are transferred through the same medium, right? It's not just for lizard turds. Exactly. You know, and, and it's, you can cut it both ways. Like, I mean, you can have that wave out there and reverse it. So that's what we're really doing is reverse engineering. So, you know, which led me down to another rabbit hole. So I took those vile vials that were snuck to me, right? And I put them on my replicator and plates and I can look at them where the, we're very limited. Let's say if I'm doing um, live blood cell. So I can actually see what the biofeedback like genus does before and after. And so we do animals, people. And I mean, how simple is this? I mean, you just get an app and it's not a big medical device and it doesn't cost fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 of your time, which, you know, we did back then. But, you know, you got to remember you are the energy. So it's not just curly and photography that we're measuring to see you or the food, but you're actually coming out and seeing what you look like, your inner you. And if you're very low energy, like, you know, in the 30s and 40s, that's what they call the big C word, you know. And you can take a lot of C's these days, but this is where these people vibrate very low.